that hole, bring that to a lot. When Teresa Deloach Reed walks onto the Oakland Fire Department's training yard, she holds two titles. So I've seen them in action, but actually to do a drill like this is the first time I sit back and watched it. Fire Chief of Oakland and the first African American female to head up a major metropolitan fire department. Are you going to cut off four posts or just two? So did Chief Reed set out to be a role model? No. <laughs> Does, it, does, does anyone set out to be a role model? In fact, she never even set out to be a firefighter. She wanted to be a police officer. One of nine kids, seven brothers, one sister, it was one of her brothers, a police officer himself, who talked her out of fighting crime and suggested she fight fires instead. At the time, she was already climbing ladders for her job with a telephone company. I remember this as though it was yesterday, walking down those steps, reading that application. It said something about working with ladders. I said to myself, I know how to raise the ladder. And at that point, I made the decision to fill the application out myself. And here I am. Chief Reed started her firefighting career in San Jose. Hired in 1986, the chief says her first few years were not easy. 25 years ago, most departments were not ready for women to join the ranks. You come in, you sit down, you think you're part of the team, you're going to sit down and you have your coffee, and by the time you put your cream in, you look up and you're sitting in that kitchen all by yourself. Calling those types of incidents petty, Reed says the more egregious acts of discrimination could have put the public and her career in danger including one when someone turned off a crucial power switch on a truck she was in charge of maintaining. She was confronted by the next firefighter on duty. And so he had thought that I did it to him when the truth was someone had done it during my shift. As a firefighter works up the ranks, they are given these. They are called collar insignia. Firefighters often call them collar brass. The more bugles on the collar brass, the higher the rank. Chief Reed had only been on the job for three years when a female firefighter handed her this one. It was three ranks higher than the position she was applying for. She said, you're, you're going places. I just want to give you this because this is your future. And that turned out to be true. During her 25-year career with the San Jose Fire Department, there were a lot of firsts. In 1989, Deloach Reed was the first woman in San Jose to be promoted to engineer. Five years later, she was the department's first female captain. It wasn't long before she earned the title of battalion chief, again, a first for San Jose Fire. And in 2008, she was promoted to interim deputy chief. And finally, another first. She was the first woman in the history of the San Jose Fire Department to be promoted to assistant fire chief. Chief Reed says with each promotion, she was always mindful she was setting a tone. It's not so much just being the first, but it's also about who's gonna come behind you and are you paving a path for someone to come behind you or is it just about you? What are you guys gonna be doing? And now the longtime Oakland resident, wife and mother of two grown children, is making history. She will be the first African-American woman to lead a major fire department in the United States. Like it or not, this job has put her in the spotlight with all eyes on her next move. Oakland is a very good department and I believe that members of this organization wanted something new. They wanted a change. They want someone that's going to come there and take us from one level to the next. Right, right. So whatever they give us, we improvise. Okay. Though she's always been impressed with Oakland's 400 plus firefighters. How do you guys monitor your air right here? Reed says what caught her off guard was how poorly they were outfitted. One of the things that I was really surprised at when I came in and going around and visiting all the stations and all the ships and really actually seeing the uh, condition of the infrastructure. Her first order, updating safety equipment and replacing older failing trucks and engines. The tricky part, finding the money. So far, grant money has helped hire firefighters and address equipment needs. And Reed adds she sees bigger things ahead for Oakland. 
I want Oakland to realize that they're better than they are. I think they know that they're good, I know that they're good, but I know that, that, that we can be better. And it's not just with Oakland Fire Department, it's with the city as a whole, that we can do better as an organization. That was good, that was good. All right, good job, all right.